Welcome back to our Canis Libero. Today we're looking at the Zombie Apocalypse Sword. Uh, I feel like this is probably the ideal Zombie Apocalypse Sword, especially if you participate in any kind of sword fighting uh, organization currently or have any basic sword fighting training. Uh, it's a straight blade, so it's an easy thruster. Uh, it's short, 24 inches long. It's light enough that you can operate it one-handed. It's long enough that you can use it two-handed. Uh, reality is zombies need to be beheaded, but they don't wear armor, so a straight blade is sufficient for that task. This sword is light and it is quick, and that's why I think that it would work uh, for most users. Uh, further, it is about the same length as most people's SCA uh, war swords. Uh, and a war sword is more effective in a group or tight environment. Uh, this is pushing the limit of what you could use effectively indoors. Uh, you don't want to end up getting your sword stuck in a wall uh, or knocking the ceiling fan off the roof. Uh, this sword stays tight and close to the body. It's good. It has standoff reach because of the two-handed handle. You can choke up, you can choke down, um, and it will let you know where your hand is on the handle at all times because of the way I constructed it. I like to know where my hand is. Therefore, I put this knot here so my fingers are aware of where they are on the blade. Further, the knot can be released and used as a trigger. I can cinch it down. I prefer to cinch it down to where it's a two finger, but it allows me to trigger the blade. And I don't lose control of my blade when I cinch my finger into it. Another feature that I like to have on my handles, and I've been doing this on my war swords for a long time, is to always have some kind of lip. And so there's an extra wrap here. The braid on this 550 cord is smooth all the way through and then all of a sudden there's an odd spot. That odd spot, I can feel it. When my hand slips, I know I'm passing the midpoint on my grip. And uh, you don't want to be looking at your tools when you're using them. So therefore, that is an important feature if you are planning to use your sword for defense. This sword has a modern whalebone scabbard, PVC pipe. Uh, it is the, uh, it is my favorite type of, uh, scabbard and it's a compression scabbard. So this piece of PVC is heated up, slides down, you lift it off of the nut and it allows the sword to come out of the scabbard. It locks it in. I mean, you can jerk it out, but it locks it in pretty well. On this side of the scabbard, you can see this hole here and uh, this hole is a piece of PVC folded over on itself and hot glued to the scabbard. Uh, it makes for a good seal and it gives you a mounting point. So we've laced the 550 cord through the loop, knotted it here, and we wrap it all the way down the scabbard, finishing it off at the bottom with a flower knot. The base of the scabbard has been completed by cutting an oval piece of PVC, flattening it out, and using the two-part hot glue, uh, just standard uh, PVC hot glue. And uh, you glue it in, paint it flat black, and you have a nice scabbard. No fuss, no muss. All in all, I think this is probably the most effective zombie apocalypse sword you will find, this type of sword, and it's the most usable. Again, some people 
would argue for other blades like Rattle 71, he prefers a one-handed sword, period. Um, that's just a style difference. But his sword, strangely, he goes for the 24-inch blade, one-handed. He likes a short one-handed sword as well. Um, and both of us prefer that 24 inch blade and so do most of our contemporaries uh, especially for a war fighting you'll find uh, some of us will go over to a 36 inch blade occasionally like for tournament fighting when we're fighting one-on-one -on -one individual fighting uh, we might go to a longer one uh, but i find that the advantage of a 36 inch sword only lasts for a moment and uh, once you close the gap, the 24 inch sword is actually more effective and the person with the longer sword becomes hindered, loses leverage, and they also lose the ability to strike hard. Um, and the 24 inch is still operating at peak performance. So since most sword fights degenerate into a brawl, a 24 inch blade I find to be much more effective in more situations. Uh, there are advantages to the longer sword, but those advantages are in only specific situations. So in the most number of situations, I prefer a 24 inch blade. Uh, hope this video was helpful. Have a great day and uh, keep your eyes open for more zombie apocalypse videos. We'll talk to you soon. Arcanus Libero, out. <laughs>